Hey everyone, it's Milan, and this is my dog, Luna. Say hi! <laughs> so, if you are new to my channel, um, hi! But if you've been here before, hey, what's up? So, today's video, I'm going to be talking about why I quit working at Brandy Melville. I know this is like a very, very popular video. I don't really know why, um, but hey, I might as well tell my own story and get some baby kisses from this puppy. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I talked about this in like my life update video. Not really, I just like informed everyone that I quit my job <laughs> um, but I never really told you guys that I even was working there in the first place and there was sort of a reason behind that honestly and I guess I'll explain that part first um, I okay so basically I guess I should explain how I got the job there first because I didn't explain that and I feel like people are interested in how you get hired at Brandy Melville um, just because it's like a very weird hiring process. So basically, I was just, I, uh, I just went down there, like me and my friend were shopping and we walked into a Brandy Melville to buy some stuff. And then like, as we were checking out, I was like, oh, are you guys hiring by the way? And they were like, oh yeah, we're always looking for people. And so I was like, okay, could I fill out an application? Mind you, okay, like mini story, when I was 16, I think, I um, applied to Brandy Melville like twice. Um, I was like 15 or 16, and I remember the the um, application process because I had done it before, but when I was 16, I was not cute, I had no sense of style, and I probably just looked a hot ass mess. Um, I'll explain why that matters like in a few seconds um but yeah i thought that was pretty funny because of course i did end up getting the job now when i applied um but anyway yeah so i went in i asked for an application they were like yeah and then they gave me one and basically the application i wouldn't even call it an application process it's sort of like i don't know it's just, it's sort of like a joke honestly um all they have you do is fill out your name like your contact info they don't make you put down any work work experience like nothing about your skills nothing just your information your date of birth and the last thing is your instagram handle so when i was like 16 i thought that was weird um also when i was 16 i probably had like freaking 200 followers and my instagram was a mess <laughs> now it's kind of cuter you know if you want to go follow me you should but um <laughs> yeah so you put in your instagram and i guess that's so they can see like if you're popping enough or something anyways so i filled out the application and i gave it to the girl and she was like okay thanks and i was like all right bye so me and my friend left and as we were like walking out she was like oh my god it'd be so cool if you got the job and i was, I was like yeah that would be cool um <laughs> needless to say it was not <laughs> cool but yeah so i think only like probably like four or five days later, I didn't get a phone call, but I ended up getting an email from the hiring manager at Brandy Melville. Um, um, so I applied to a very popular Brandy Melville here in Los Angeles. I would say it's like the most well-known one. Um, I don't know if I should say, I guess it really doesn't matter. Um, so I, applied to the Brandy Melville in Santa Monica, which is like the one where all of the photos come from, like all of the modeling photos that you see on the Brandy Melville website. Um, they're like taken there in Santa Monica, like at that location typically. And that's also like where all of the models work, like all the girls that model for Brandy Melville also work there. Um, cause I guess like once you start working there for long enough, you can sort of get like drafted into also modeling for them. So that's kind of the way that worked. But, um, so yeah, I got an email from the hiring manager and it turns out that I later find, found out that the hiring manager was actually like, not recently, but 
back in like 2013, 2014, um, like around that time when I was ugly and like 15, 16 years old, um, she was like one of the main models for Brand New Melville, like back at that time. Um, and I guess she was now like the hiring manager there. So that was interesting, I didn't know. But anyway, she just emailed me and like asked me, basically gave me the job, like didn't ask me for an interview interview or anything, just gave me the job, said like, hey, when can you start basically? And can you take, excuse me, this much money? And I was like, yeah, cool, I need a job, yeah. So I agreed to it, that was it. Um, I think like a week week went by after that and I had, they sent me some paperwork and stuff and I had to sign the paperwork and um, bring it back to the location. So I would say like a week after emailing with her, I ended up actually starting my first day at Brandy. So let's get to that. My first day working at Brandy, it was weird. Okay, I've worked many jobs, many, many jobs in my life. I've been working since I was 15 years old. I'm now 21. I have had a plethora of jobs, like literally from like big bucks to like working at a shitty retail job. I have had every job in between and I am still currently working to get a job. So yeah, I've just, I have a lot of crazy interview job stories, honestly. Um, so anyway, I get to the Brandy, I think they had me come in at like a morning midday shift or something. So I went in and as soon as I got there, the vibe was just like very off. The vibe was very weird. Um, so I like went up to the front and I was like, hey, I'm Milan, like it's my first day. Um, it's like, hi. <laughs> and then the girl who was the manager there was like, oh hi blah 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 okay um like just just wait right here and so i'm like okay so i'm like behind the cash register and like all of the girls including the manager girl was like standing up at the front like working the cash register so i was just standing behind them and i was literally standing there for like a good 15 minutes just standing there it was so awkward oh my god i felt so just awkward and weird and out of place um just because like no one was talking to me people were just like passing by me and I was like oh sorry and I'm just awkwardly standing like right behind everyone and then like there were there weren't even any more customers like paying and they were just standing there and I'm just standing there like waiting for someone to come up to me like waiting for someone to be like hi like I'm gonna train you blah blah blah, blah. you know like every other job does by the way, sorry, Luna's eating her food, so you can <laughs> hear her crunching in the background. But I mean, yeah, I've had so many jobs. Jobs I've had, I've gone through so many like training processes. It's always a someone comes up to you and is like, "Hi," introduces themselves, and like takes you on your way to go be trained. But no, that was not the case here. Basically, what happened is the <laughs> the one girl was like looking at the other girl. She's like, "I don't feel right." well right now like can you can you go like train her and then the other girl was like uh, da, da, da. and they were just like going back and forth and I felt like such a burden I felt like Jesus mind you these girls are like fucking like 16 17 years old <laughs> and they're like <laughs> they're like trying to pass me off onto one another and the other girl's like no I like my throat hurts like blah, blah, blah. and so finally after staying there for like another good five to ten minutes no kidding one of them was like okay um i'm like hi i'm gonna train you but she didn't even say i'm gonna train you she was just like hi like yeah come over here like come with me i'll show you everything and i was like okay um the other girl was like nice you know she was she seemed nice and so basically all she did was she just like walked me to the front of the store gave me a walkie talkie and said yeah so basically um you know just maintain the front um you know if clothes need to be folded just fold them like greet customers and yeah that's basically it and i was like okay i mean i've had like two three years of retail work experience so like i know i like i know how to work in a retail setting like i know what you're supposed to do but it was just so 
it was just so weird because they they literally don't even know anything about me they have no clue if i've never worked a day in my life because they never even saw my resume like it it's just mind-blowing to think about it like they literally never even asked me for a resume they have no idea what my work experience is and they give me a walkie-talkie and put me at the front of the store and i was like oh, okay what's the walkie-talkie for because i've I, i've never uh, had to use walkie-talkies like in retail work experience um she was like oh it's like if you see anything like shady going on like if people are stealing or something so i was like okay like and that was basically it that that was it was just like go like maintain the front of the store so i was like all right cool so that day i think i had like a seven hour shift or something or like a i think i only had like a six hour shift and yeah the whole thing the whole time was just kind of it was just weird honestly like some of the girls came up to me and like like oh are you new and they you know they talked to me and like introduced themselves which was nice but it was only like two or three girls honestly there were only like two like maybe three maybe four nice girls that were working there and the rest of them just needed some serious freaking help honestly they needed some like personality changes like i don't know they need to go to like cognitive therapy to <laughs> fix whatever is going on in their being because oh my god like oh <sighs> ew it was just yeah it wasn't it wasn't cute to say the least um so yeah that was that was sort of my first day um also like the breaks that they like the way they explained the breaks was also sort of weird in the past i've had like terrible terrible managers who say like oh no you don't get any breaks and i've also had managers that like force me to take more breaks than is actually required so i was just very confused because i've never had like a normal break like at a job at least in a retail job because they're always like either trying to take money from you or like make you work extra but yeah so they explained the breaks to me and they said that basically you get to take uh two 15 minutes if you're working i think it was eight hours or over six hours i don't remember which one so you get to take two 15 minutes one of them has to be at the beginning of your shift and one of them's at the very end of your shift then you get like your like lunch break which is 30 minutes yeah 30 minutes so in total you get an hour right an hour 15 15 30 yeah okay an hour <laughs> um so that was a little bit confusing to me at first because i've never done breaks that way because like i said i've always had terrible jobs <laughs> um but yeah so the first day i like asked for my lunch break like what because they tell you what time you have to go to lunch so you sort of have to make your first 15 minute and your second 15 minute like work around that but then they also have like these really weird rules where if you only have an hour of work left then you're not allowed to take your 15 and if you just started work like if you just started working two hours ago then you can't take your 15 i don't know just really weird confusing rules and it's not like i there's like a clock where i can always be checking the time so sometimes like i remember the first day I like missed my first 15 minute because I, I, I like didn't know what time I should take that and so I just went and took my lunch break and I was like I was just so exhausted because you're on your feet the whole time and yeah I don't know I just I, I just remember being like really exhausted and I went to coffee bean and I like got a coffee and I was just sitting there and I was like okay now I have to go back um but my first day honestly other than like the weird occurrence wasn't too bad it was just it was just awkward and like I didn't feel welcomed even though they hired me you know um so yeah then like I would say my first week was sort of eh um I met like two or three girls that were nice so that was cool <laughs> but I mean like you know we didn't really nobody really talked except for the girls that had been working there for like years together and like really knew each other um and there were a lot of new girls there like there were quite a few girls that had just started working there like a few weeks before me so that sort of lets you in on like you know the turnover rate there um 
but yeah, my first week was, it was okay. I just dealt with like a lot of cattiness and like, you know, just little bitchy high school girls. Like I was in high school, I know what the girls were like. I was honestly probably like that, but I was never just mean to someone for no reason. Like even if I didn't like someone, I always had a, like somewhat of a reason, you know what I mean? But these girls, like there were two girls in specific that just had it out for me for some reason. And I'm like, dude, like I'm literally like five years older than you, like six, like five, six years older than you. Like what, like, what are you doing? Like, how are you just gonna start to like, I, I don't know, it was just weird. This one girl, okay, basically I'll just talk about like the the bad the bad situation so um so I think this was my first week or maybe it was my second week but this one girl I don't know she was just she was just strange since I was new I didn't really know like who the managers were um because there was a lot of managers and I wasn't sure like who was who but I remember this one day I was at the front again and I was like folding no, I was, I was changing um, shirts on the rack and like changing the hangers. And so I'm just like up there, like changing the clothes. Then this girl comes up to me. I have no idea what her name is. She never introduced herself to me, um, like nothing. And she was like, hey, um, you shouldn't be doing that right now because there's like clothes over in the middle that need, really need to be folded. So I think you should like go do those. And I was like, um, no, like the manager told me to do this, so I'm doing this right now. And then she just like looked at me and like huffed and walked away. And I was like, okay, like I really don't care. <laughs> um, and then I like went back into the dressing room to put some stuff away. And then we were, it was like later that night and we were doing putbacks. Putbacks is what it sounds like. You're just getting clothes from the dressing room and putting them back in the like correct spot around the store. Okay, sorry this video is sort of all, all over the place. I just have like really shitty memories, so I can't remember exactly what the conversation was, but essentially I went into the dressing room and I had some items in my hand. I asked one of the girls a question, a question about the clothes. I don't remember what the question was, um, but then the one girl who loved to f try to boss me around for some reason was like, those aren't singles. And I looked at her and I was like, yeah, I know. Singles are like, it's what it sounds like, okay? Singles are singles, like single items, like we only have one of them. And I was like, yeah, I know. I said it like that. And then her and the other girl, like the other girl like looked at her and she was like, and then I just walked out. I wasn't like trying to be mean or anything, but it was literally like a fucking 15 year old trying to boss me around and like, tell me what to do, act like I haven't had like three times her work experience that she's had. Like, like, I don't know, like the whole thing was just ridiculous. Then from then on, she just like continued to hate me. And then the girl that was in the dressing room with her, I guess started to hate me because I like talked to the girl that way. I don't know, they were both like 15 or 16 years old and I literally could not care less. But then, <laughs> but then from then on, they both would just like, the one girl would like brush me like like that with her stuff or like bump into me like on purpose and not say sorry just you know like dumb little shit like that um and yeah i don't know she was just like really rude and like just an asshole for literally no reason like i don't know why she saw me and she thought like oh, i'm gonna tell this this girl what to do like i'm gonna just i guess just because i'm new but like like I said, I literally have like 20 times her work experience. Like she's literally like 12. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was just not fun. And honestly, even like just the majority of everyone that works there is not, they're just not nice people. Like you don't have to be like, oh my God, hi. You don't have to be like an angel on earth, but just be like cordial. Just be like a normal person that's like, casually nice to people you don't have to be rude and like condescending and an asshole 
to someone for literally no reason. Like, that just doesn't make sense. Um, but yeah, moving on to um, the managers. Honestly, even the managers were, were like that. The managers that worked there, some of them were younger than me, which was like kind of weird, but hey, whatever. They had worked there for like longer, you know, they had worked there for like two or three years, so they made their way up to being manager, so that's fine. But um, the majority of them were my age or like a year or two older than me. This one occurrence happened with a manager that I'm pretty sure was like my age. She was in college so I'm going to assume that she was my age um that part doesn't really matter but I just thought I would include it um so like like I said there was no training ever the only time that I received training was when they wanted to train me up at the front on the cash register um I think that was probably my second week my second week of work and one of the managers um took me up to the cash register and trained me on you know how to cash people out and everything um that was the only actual training that i received my whole time working there but um so yeah i think this was my this was close to when i uh, to when i quit so this was either my second or my third week working um there. i remember it was a closing shift i'll explain why but so basically it was a closing shift and i was i think i was at the front of the store or in the middle of the store and all of a sudden no I was, I was at the I was at the middle of the store I think and then all of a sudden my manager I'm like st okay so the way Brandy is set up is there is like walls with clothes hanging and then in the middle of the store there are like these benches and tables of folded clothes so I'm here in the middle I'm standing here folding clothes and then over here, there is like these two middle school girls. They're very young. Um, and then like putting clothes back also over here is my manager. So I'm over here folding clothes and I look over and my manager is, walks up to these two girls, the two middle school girls, and she goes right in front of them and she goes, are you seriously just gonna act like I didn't just see that? And so like everyone looks over and the girls are like, what? And she was like, you're seriously just gonna act like I didn't just watch you put those clothes in your bag? And we're all just like, oh shit. And then the girl is like, uh, uh, and she's like, no, it's literally just, she opens up her backpack and she literally like pulls out clothes and she's like, no, it's literally just my clothes she was like really freaked out and my manager was like open your bag open your bag let me see and the girl like showed her she's like no it's literally just my clothes like it's it's nothing and then she and then my manager just didn't say anything and she just like turned around and like walked away and then the girls I watched the girls and they were just standing there and they were kind of freaked out and they're like what the hell like let's go um one of the girls I'm pretty sure was like a little slow um I had just been like you know watching her and her friend interact in the store and I don't know maybe she was like a little autistic or something but just you know by the way she was acting and the way she um was interacting with people um sort of gave me that clue I guess but anyway, so uh, I like walked up to my manager and I was like, oh, what was that about? And then she just looks at me and she's like, honestly, Milan, like I need you to pay more attention. Like you're not paying any attention at all. Those two girls looked like they were stealing and you just need to pay more like closer attention to things that are going on in the store, especially when you're working up at the front. And I was just like, whoa like okay you never fucking trained me but okay go off sis go off like sure yeah okay um so yeah the girls left they weren't stealing they might have been acting weird but they didn't steal and if they would have been stealing they literally would have walked out and the sensor would have gone off so yeah i don't know the whole thing was stupid but like a good ugh, ew i had a hair in my mouth like a good 30 minutes later, 
um, it was closing time so like I said I was up at the front I wasn't sure if I was at the front or the middle but I was at the front um, and so my manager walkies me not the one that blew up on me the other one um, another manager so she walkies me and she's like hey can we close the front door we're gonna be closing in like three minutes and so I was like yeah no problem so I go up and I close the front door and then one of no um and then it's like we closed at nine i think this night and it was like 8 58 8 57 or something like that like 8 8 58 i'm pretty sure and these two girls walked in and they're like hey are you guys closed and i was like oh what time is it and they're like oh it's 8 58 and i like looked at my look at, looked at the time and i was like oh no uh, we do close in two minutes though just so you guys know and they're like okay no problem we'll just we'll be really quick i was like okay cool and then my manager just is behind me and she's looking at me like uh, she just rolls her eyes like the biggest eye roll i've ever seen in my life and i'm like uh what or should i like not let them in are we closed she's like yeah it, we're closed basically we're basically closed but yeah just the nastiest fucking look i've ever received i keep getting interrupted sorry um, so yeah, that night was really fucking shitty and I hated it and I hated that manager after that because she just acted like she was so nice and like cool at first, but she turned out to be really mean and nasty for literally no reason. And I would have understood if I would have been trained, you know what I mean? Like if I would have been trained to, and like someone told me, oh, at this time, like past this time don't let anyone in the doors then i would have been like okay yeah uh, like yeah totally totally understand no problem but the fact that i literally was not trained on anything and they have an attitude with me acting like i should know everything like i should know whether or not to let a customer customer in the store when we're not even closed yet like the whole thing was just so stupid and yeah i don't know just everyone had a fucking bad attitude there and everyone was just rude for literally no reason and it was hard to not freaking hate it and honestly i hated that job i don't think i've had one job that was worse than that one um i had it like this one job that's it's a long story but that was definitely almost the worst job I have ever had I'm not joking I would come home every single day after a shift and I would just cry I would just cry not because people were mean or anything like I don't really care if a 16 year old like rolls their eyes at me you know what I mean but just all of the like constant just negative energy and like pent up aggression that was going on in there just made me so uncomfortable and like upset I would literally come home ev like every time after a shift and I would just bawl my eyes out. I'm not even exaggerating. Like it was so bad. I was hating my life. I was hating my life so much. And the only reason why I was hating it is because of that fucking job. Like it's so ridiculous how just like bad energy and just mean-spirited people can make you hate something so much if that makes sense um i'm not saying that everyone there was mean there were a few girls that were very nice there were a few girls even that were like models for brandy that i got to meet and they were really sweet they were really nice um the majority of the girls that were mean were just like either either like these random 15 16 year olds that had like moved from fucking Iowa and started working there thought they were the shit just because they worked at Brandy Melville and they moved to LA which like honey reality check you're not like just because you moved here doesn't mean that you're some like bad bitch or something like I don't know where they get that idea um or just like these managers that were just mean I, I don't know why like you can't just I already said this but like if you're gonna be upset with someone at least give them all the information that they need um and then if they fuck up then be not be mad at them but if you're gonna give someone no information and just expect them to know how to act or how you want them to act that's just like 
that. That's literally so dumb. Like, it makes no sense to me. But anyways, yeah, so, um, I quit that job. Um, I texted that manager that was really rude to me, and I let her know. I texted her and I said, hey, not coming in for the shift. I had a shift. And I was like, hey, I'm not going to be in for the shift this day. I just don't want to work with toxic, mean people. And it, I let her know that it was one of the most unprofessional work environments that I've ever worked in in my life. And seriously, I've worked in some really shitty places. I have worked in some really just like terribly managed stores and establishments. But yeah, so I just texted her and I was very upfront. I just said, hey, I'm quitting. Here's the information. Do with it what you will. I'm sure you won't, but don't really care. So yeah, I quit. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's the story. I have a lot of other like little mini stories and antidotes that I could share um, about the owner. Um, the owner of Brandon Melville, like he would come into the store a lot. Um, I just have a lot of things that I heard or that I picked up while I was there and I could definitely make another story, make another video um, talking about those if you guys wanted, but I feel like this video is already really, really freaking long. Um, but yeah, so that is how I started working at Brandon Millville and why I quit. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't know. Um, I feel like it was kind of all over the place, but yeah, that's just me. <laughs> That's how I roll. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching.